Good morning, good evening, good night. It is Divine Empress Queen T L C S G M. I am here with another energy soul tribe read for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. We are going to be doing a love spread for Capricorn, quick love spread. But before I get into the tarot cards, baby, I was channeling on your energy. Mm -mm -mm. And Capricorn, you are missing someone dearly from your past. This could be someone from your childhood that you grew up, grew up with or someone from your past that you were involved with. Um, I have been feeling some kind of fear from you, some fear and anxiety of maybe rejection. I don't know, but you're going to get over those insecurities and those fears. Stand in your power and express your emotions to this person that you've been missing. With that being said, babies, we are going to get into, let's see which cards uh, okay. We're gonna get into these tarot. Wait a minute, you know what? Before I get into these cards, I wanna get a quick some messages. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what comes up, comes out, Capricorn. <clears throat> getting straight into this and we got a lot out there I don't know if I'm going to take all of those we'll just take uh, some of these right here off the top just because this is a lot of cards let's see what it says 3D vanity materialistic I'm getting you uh, materialistic Capricorn you could be definitely just all about the material things and um, what you can have here um, to show for in life that you can actually um, attain, accomplish, have. And with this materialistic, um, I just don't want to see, don't be so um, all in your ego should i say being materialistic and just wanting um whatever you can show materialistically and not really appreciating going within in depth what you have what it means to you just don't be in vain and just uh, i'm trying to figure the word is on the tip of my tongue Anywho, that's going to come back to me. Not on the same spiritual path. Oh, wow, Capricorn. So somebody, this person maybe that you're missing that I've been channeling, y'all are not on the same spiritual path, baby. Okay? Maybe somebody needs to go within. Like I said, go within and definitely self-reflect. Do some healing, baby. Get in touch with your soul and your inside, baby. Okay, and you know what this, if you're not on the same spiritual path, baby, it ain't gonna work. Whoever this is, higher education. You could be maybe seeking some, going back to school, uh, wanting to... Uh, Get a better education for yourself. That is always great. I need time to heal. OMG. What I said, go with the spiritual path. Yes, you need time to heal, Capricorn, or somebody in your energy saying they need time to heal. Maybe before they can come together. Maybe before you can come together and express your emotions, baby. OMG. This is a soulmate connection. This person that you have been missing, Capricorn, is a soulmate connection. And I'm getting that you really, truly love them. You have deep emotion. 
but if you're not on the same spiritual path baby like i said it will not work i get lost in your eyes oh and she okay so this person that you're thinking about they might have some kind of alluring eyes you can see their soul and you just get lost in their eyes all right i think that is enough messages right now to start with capricorn if this resonates with you like share and subscribe and let's get into this with the tarot and see what's going on ooh, ooh, baby someone is not happy someone is sad and depressed baby this is the sun card in the re verse and this is the happiest card in the deck baby it's in reverse so you oh gee you're definitely sad and in regret definitely i'm feeling definitely need to go go within and like this card says you need time to heal let's see what else comes out with this unhappiness card capricorn it's very stressed, I'm feeling. Oh, and gee, what is this one to flip up and flip back? Page of Swords. OMG, you're unhappy, honey, but you, you're you unhappy, but you're spying on this person. Okay, maybe you're unhappy because you're not in union with them. This person that you feel that's your soulmate, but you have been heavily spying on them, baby. I'm getting that energy or this person could could be spying on oh, somebody in your energy could be spying on you. OMG, four cups in reverse. Yeah, you definitely said because of some kind of missed opportunity, some kind of offer. Maybe this person that you um, feel that you're a soulmate, that you're in love with. Okay. You're on different spiritual paths, baby. And just for instance, if it's one just reckless and out here with no care in the world, and one actually has depth and soul and want to work on Star Card, yes. Work on healing. The six significant oh yes, definitely. Definitely need healing balance within your emotions baby patience this is the star card with the four cups in the reverse this offer that you no longer have this opportunity with this person they brought some kind of healing and some kind of emotional balance to your life to your being you could feel like this person is the star to you. This is Aquarius energy. Ooh, we got the Empress on the bottom. Yes, I think this person is the apple of your eye. Oh, MG. Let's see. Page of Swords. You could be sun card is the uh, Leo card. Star is in Aquarius. You could be dealing with those signs. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Knight of Swords. Somebody is getting ready to run in fast and express some emotions hasty, like quickly. Maybe um, a little bit aggressive. Yes. Uh. You have been, I'm feeling you have felt some kind of backstabs or betrayal, some some kind of pain, baby. When I'm getting that it's almost over. Let's get one more card with this nine of swords. Ooh, the lovers. Gemini. Major kind of warrior. <laughs> Major kind of major kind of card and this aura baby that i'm feeling from this gemini card the lovers this is your soulmate you could be dealing with a gemini or thinking about a gemini strongly omg you coming somebody's coming to express you or 
you're coming to express some kind of emotions to this Gemini that you're in love with, that you feel that is your soulmate, baby. This is the soulmate card. OMG, come through. Energy. Yes. And I said in the beginning, I felt that you love this person. Yes, you realize that they're your soulmate now. And you want the happily ever after with them, Capricorn. Yes, OMG, yes, that's you. That's what you want. And you want to build a strong, long-term, strong foundation. Just, this is like a loving soulmate connection, baby. But it is not in reach right now because of some, you needing to heal. Take time to heal from those backstabs of who you thought betrayed you. All from childhood, yes. You have been some kind of pain or something with this child on this card in the reverse. Some kind of pain from childhood through on up through your life, your adult life. Some kind of um, pain that you've been dealing with um, all your life. So you need to get out of that energy and just go within and heal. Once you heal yourself, love yourself, you can love anyone else baby yes omg the ten of pentacles okay we're gonna get a few more love messages my child's trying to wake up i'm gonna hurry up uh, omg I remember you, Capricorn. Yes, I'm doing, um, forgetting. I'm getting here that you are trying. You have been maybe trying to forget this person that you feel so drawn to. And this person is this your soulmate. They can feel your energy as well. They feel you as well. Like y'all energy both. You can feel one another. And you're trying because it didn't work. You're trying to forget about this person, but you can't. There could be some kind of jealous energy around as well. Like you can't get this person off your mind. Yes. Spiritual growth. OMG. If you don't come through energy, spiritual growth here. We got the star card, which represents healing, growth. Okay. Balance in, in emotions, definitely, Capricorn, you are working on your spiritual growth. And this connection, this soulmate connection that you're feeling so heavily that you were in before but didn't realize until now that it's a soulmate connection, baby. You are spiritually growing. This connection helps you grow. Yes, you could have been on a different spiritual path and not on the same spiritual path as your as your uh, love interest. But you're working on it. You need you realize that you need time to heal and you're trying to work on that. Trying to get a better education for yourself. Not just being materialistic out here. What I said to you still haunts me. So maybe something that you said you regret saying to this person. Staying away from you is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Oh, yes. Y'all not in union. And it's really killing you. It's really on your heart string. <laughs> and, of course, I'm addicted to you sexually. Yes, I'm feeling... This person that you're addicted to sexually, Capricorn, they brought some kind of it's this healing to your soul because you could feel I mean not just the sex but love as well. You could be having some kind of money issues, some kind of lack in your finances right now. Get your shit and get out. Uh oh. Somebody has got kicked out, kicked to the curb. Somebody is tired of somebody that they dealing with. Okay, you have kicked them out. Yes, and you, and I think, yes. Oh, Capricorn, maybe some relationship that you're in or something. Some Y'all, somebody split up, karmic partner that you could be dealing with. 
um, then had enough. Y'all not this person. Maybe y'all weren't on the same spiritual path as well, and you have let them go, or they let you go, baby, and you're coming now to express some emotions to this soulmate connection that you're in. Yeah. OMG, I watch you on social media. We got the page of swords here, spine card. Yeah, Capricorn. So this person that you feel that you're, it's your soulmate, you've been spying on them heavily. On all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, where we got Snapchat, all that good stuff. YouTube, Twin Flames. And I'm done. Yes, this is a soulmate connection. You guys, energy, both can feel it as well. OMG. And this is this card on the deck. My pride and ego got the best of me. What well, didn't I say something about ego earlier in this banning and materialistic? Yes. <clears throat> pride and ego in your emotions, baby. Maybe because you are insecure and in, and in fear of regret, but don't let your pride get into way of a soulmate connection that you know and feel in your heart and soul is for you, baby. It's sometimes it's time to let down that pride and ego just a little bit, you know, and just be honest with yourself and a person that you are in love with. And with that being said, Capricorn, we're going to end it here. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. I'm sending you love and definitely healing energy right now. Um, strength to endure any challenges that may come your way. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to clear my throat. With that being said, baby, as I always say, pray, meditate, namaste, I'm out.